to be here standing shoulder and shoulder, shoulder to shoulder with you and the labor movement here in uh, London to send a message not only about how important your jobs are, but at how important jobs like yours are across Ontario. Because this fight definitely is against this company and this situation. But it has a meaning that I think goes far, far further uh, than just the boundaries of this, uh, of this site. This right. fight is a fight that we're going to be fighting time after time across the province if we don't stand up to the tactics that are being shown here. And here we have a company that has become a very, very profitable company. Why? Because of the labor of the workers at this very plant. Yeah. And what do you get in return for that hard work? What do you get in return for that dedication to the company? What do you get in return for your years and years of labor? You get slapped in the face. You get kicked to the curb. All that right. is not acceptable. That is absolutely wrong, and we cannot let it continue to happen in Ontario. All right. The buck stops here. The buck stops here. And so what do we see in the context of this company who is, is turning over great profits? We see an absence, an absence of, of any sound of concern from the Liberals and the Conservatives, Liberals provincially, Conservatives federally. We see the failure of their policies. Here we have both federally the Conservatives and provincially the Liberals cutting corporate taxes, cutting corporate taxes, cutting corporate taxes to what avail? Are jobs being kept in the province? Are good jobs being saved here? Absolutely not. Those policies are a failure. They're not helping us keep good jobs here. They're not helping us make sure people like you are continuing to work at a decent wage. And that's what this is all about, right? I mean, we have a situation here where we're coming out the middle class in our province. We're losing decent middle class jobs. Why? Because of corporate greed, right? Because these big corporations think that they can just put the boots to you and ignore the fact that you, you spent all of those years, those decades, helping them build those profits. And so they walk away, and they, they, they take their uh, their profits, they take them out of the country, and they leave you hanging high and dry and saying, you don't even deserve half of what you've been earning over the last couple of decades. That is absolutely wrong. And so I'm here to say, not only do I support your struggle and your fight, but I will work as hard as I can to change things in Ontario so that we can rely on decent, good paying jobs for the long haul, so that when we actually work with companies to create and save good jobs, then we have real strings attached to those commitments. That we're giving companies tax breaks, we're giving companies uh, incentives to uh, to set up here or to stay here, that we're tying those incentives to real uh, job guarantees, right? To putting real job guarantees in place so that people like you don't have to fight every collective agreement uh, just for what you've gained over the last collective agreement. That is absolutely wrong. And I want to say one last thing. It is not good faith bargaining when you come with a contract uh, offer that cuts in half, that actually shreds everything that you've earned in terms of the bargaining uh, process over the last several collective agreements. That's not good faith. That's something else altogether. In fact, that is a disgrace, it is disgusting, and it's something that they should be very, very ashamed of. And so I'm proud as a new Democrat to stand with Irene Matheson, your federal member, with uh, Teresa Armstrong, your provincial MPP, and say new Democrats know which side we're on. We're on the side of everyday working people who deserve a decent quality of life and who deserve a strong community that that decent uh, quality of life brings. So I'm here to say keep up the struggle. It's your struggle. I'm here with you in it. And it's a struggle for every single worker.
We don't have any leadership in this country and this province. We've got rollover governments who don't want to be government. They want to downsize. They want to slash services. And when it comes time to stand up for the men and women that built this country, they're nowhere to be seen. I like leaders who have gumption and the guts to say there has to be fairness in the workplace, in the community, and in the country. And that's what we've seen today with uh, my leader, Andrea Horvath, and with my colleague, MPP Teresa Armstrong. This is a watershed. Make no mistake, this is the fight of our, our nation, our, our province. If this company gets away with rolling back wages, undermining our communities, reducing our infrastructure by virtue of uh, a lost tax base among workers and among uh, those who have contributed like this country, then we won't have a country left. Everyone in this country should be standing and saying no to this corporate agenda and saying no to the loss of good jobs, wages, benefits, and ultimately pensions. Because if you collect a pension in this country, or you ever hope to, you had better be willing to stand up with the workers here and elect your motive for you. this business in London Fanshawe, the business community to keep strong. We need to keep our jobs here in Ontario for the workers, for the families, for their children. It's about uh, building strong communities. London's unemployment rate is 9.6% and it can't go any lower. we got to lower that. We've got we to lower that rate so that jobs can stay here in Ontario. This is a precedent setting uh, strike. We have to show the world that we're going to stand up and fight to keep our jobs here in Ontario, to keep our community strong. We don't want ghost town here in, in London, Ontario. We want a viable, strong, productive community, a good economic sound jobs, and good paying jobs for all the workers here in London, Ontario, all of Ontario.